Well, took a trip down here to Florida. My friend Omar had some problems with his uh, well, the water pump. There were some issues with the wires here, shorting out. So I went ahead and addressed those. But yeah, it's it sucks if you, you're out on a farm and don't have water, especially when you have animals to feed. You need to have water. So uh, that's one of the things about the uh, wires, you know, especially if you're having work done and you're having people come over to take care of, you know, construction and then you have the animals. These wires can only take so much stress before they, uh, you know, start to shore it out. So, I mean, this is just a temporary run until it gets buried underground. But there is the, uh, that's the whole pump right there. You got a tank. The pump's like down there, way down there, like 300 feet or so. You got your pressure switch here. And, and there were some spider webs in there. So, you know, when spider webs build up, the contacts in there might not make contact and the pump's not going to kick in. So between that and the line having a short in there, could have been a fire hazard with the dry grass, but uh, that's been addressed. But now I'm going to go check out some animals because Omar's got a lot of animals over there. Well, who we got? Hello. Hello. Uh-oh. Are you greeting me at the gate? I'm being greeted at the gate. It's the protector. The protector of the animals. All right, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. You want to greet me, huh? Okay. Now you might get a little startled when I come in here. <laughs> I'm being sniffed. I'm being sniffed. Look at this. I'm being checked out at the gate. All right. Hello, fellas. Oh, my. Oh, boy. How you doing? Hey, we got a fella. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. It's checking me out. That feels funny. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. How you doing? How you doing? Huh? How you doing? You're sneaking up on me. Huh? Yes. She's uh, sneaking up on me, right? Look at this. <laughs> feels funny. Hey, reminds me of my uh, last girlfriend. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? You gonna follow me around? Huh? Guys gonna follow me? Huh? Uh -oh. All right, Omar. So what are, what, no, what are you doing today? What are you doing today? Water. What are you doing? <laughs> we got water. Thanks for yeah. rolling. Thank yeah. God. Water. You got to look at all these animals. You got to have water plus showers yes. and. Hello. That storage container came in clutch, though. Yeah. The one I have the the tote. Oh the man. Tote water container. Whoa. Yeah. Water Backup it. water. All right. I need to watch where I'm stepping. Oh look. There's it's, a lot of poopy. Those like water, like chocolate pellets there. Yeah. You want to try one? Sure. Probably like a little berries. Phosphorus in there. A little bit of nitrogen. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah. Good for the lawn. Yeah. Oh for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I'm being followed. Hello. Llamas are like very clean animals. They, so they like to go yeah. where they like to go. You know I what mean? see. They so, keep it in they keep it uh in one spot. Yeah. They keep it kosher, you know? Yeah. They just go in their one spot and they keep going in their one spot. <laughs> I think this is a spot for one of them and that's that's probably Lamar's spot. She's got a dedicated spots out here. Yep. Hello. You're eyeing me up over there. You're checking me out, aren't you? You're like, who is that guy? The Terminator. All right. We got that one palm tree just sitting right there. Just hanging out. All right, gonna go walk back here, see what's going on. It was cold last night. Like, I tell you what, if you live in South Georgia, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It was down to like 25 degrees last night. And weather's been crazy. There has been like tornadoes like all over the place. I don't know what is going on, but uh, definitely some crazy weather. But uh, 
Oh, gotta watch out. If it's not a sinkhole, it's whatever that could be, a surprise hole. What a surprise. Hey, there's the cow right there. Just chilling out. All right, yeah, we gotta, gotta work on a little uh, fence issue there. You wanna help? Ah, huh? you wanna help? Huh. Hey, you. What you doing? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I see it. Never mind. All right, so Omar's got some food, and look what's happening. Oh, no. You're not a bull, are you? You're a cow. You're not a bull, right? Oh, she smells the baby. Oh. Are you hungry? I wonder if I can trick her to go into here. If you got food, I think so. I think I think it's uh, I think you're a lot smarter with that. What? Maybe sometimes food makes them not think straight. <laughs> well, she's getting curious. Curiosity killed the cat, but does it kill the cow? I hope not. Uh oh, here comes mama. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> she sees y'all. <laughs> Where's she at? She's quite feisty. She's right there. She's behind that right there. All right, guys, let's get a little <laughs> closer. To Mona, come here, Mona. Come on, Mona. We've got food oh, for you. You might have to get out. Oh, oh yeah, you get out here. I know you get out of there. Come on, Mona. Come on. <laughs> we got some food. Come on. Like, I'm not falling for that. It's a cute little maze there. Oh, you want something now. Oh, I, I hear food. No, I think she wants a piece of the action. Where are you going? Where are you going? Make sure to check out my boy Omar. I'm gonna have a link to his channel below in the description. Made my chicken quinoa turkey stuffed peppers right there. Mmm. Okay. It is happening again, right there. This ladder. You can see behind me. It's going on again. I'm going to get. I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to turn the camera vertically and, and record this so you guys can see what this is doing. Because this is, look at this. It's legit moving. <laughs> All right. I decided to turn my phone this way so you can get a better angle of this ladder doing this. Like the whole thing, you can see it now. And there's nothing up there except for a ceiling. What in the hell? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why is this doing that? Look, there's nothing back here. And then there's nothing up on the top. I got my jacket over here. So I got, I got rid of that vacuum cleaner and, and other things in the way, but... <laughs> I think the devil's down here in Georgia. I don't know. I just feel that because of what's been happening. Well, maybe it's not the devil. Maybe it's it's a good spirit. Maybe it's not demonic. Maybe it's a good soul. I don't know. It's just that I'm having things that are happening that are very similar to the things that were happening when I was living up north. 
and I've been reading your comments, and a lot of you think that maybe something is attached to my belongings, you know, things that I had brought here from my old house. It's very possible. It's the only thing I could figure. But there are paranormal things happening in this part of the country, especially this part of Georgia. There are unexplained, mysterious things that go on around here. So is it coming with the land or is it coming with my merchandise, my property, my belongings, the stuff that I own? That's what I'm trying to figure out because it could be. But other than that, you guys are awesome. I've been reading the comments on my recent videos on rolling with me and I love you guys and appreciate all the kind words you guys are sharing. It's amazing to be able to put YouTube content out here on this platform and share it with you guys. And I read the comments as much as I can and some of you guys were asking some questions and I try to answer them in follow-up videos. But one thing I know I gotta do is I gotta run over to that construction site, that job site where I was doing electrical work. I had to get, I got my bag of tools, but I had taken my power drill out and I gotta go back and get that. I can't go without that. I should have collected everything, but I was in a hurry. You know, I was just trying to get out of there. I wanted to get back home, have my dinner and it happens because I'm at a different location doing electrical work and I can't be without my power tools. You know, I had to use my backup drill. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, because I was trying to work on some things in the house here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Little critters running around. There's all kinds of wildlife out here. But yeah, I gotta, I gotta get going over there and, and get those things that I need. There's, I'm telling you, there's never a dull moment in this place. Never a dull moment. I mean, I live here alone, but then I don't feel like I'm alone. I feel like I have something in there, right in that, see that room right there? Right there. And if it's not in that room, it's in that closet back in there. Something. And, and also, what I've been experiencing is something going on in here. In my bedroom. I hear it in the ceiling. Up in the ceiling. I don't know what it is. But I hear tapping, I hear banging, I hear cracking sounds up in there. What is it? And I do have animals that try to come in here. I mean, they uh, they literally want to come in the house. Maybe it's my cooking. It could be what I'm cooking all the time, you know? So I'm always cooking healthy stuff. And I guess animals, you know, they want healthy food, right? But yeah, there's something in the ceilings in here, up there. And since the attic is above... It can move around in different parts of the house. And you hear it in different parts of the house and you're like, what is going on? So between that and... <laughs> I'm not even going to get into the whole thing with the ladder. Because that... This ladder... This ladder was literally moving, okay? It, it's, it has a habit of moving like when I... I don't know if it's the energy that I put off. But it tends to react to me, so. I'm just watching. I'm watching. It's doing it again. It's, it's literally just. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a crazy world. Is it me? Is it me? Is it the energy that I'm putting off? Am I like feeding whatever this is that's exploring my house? Haunting my house maybe? Man, I, I better get going. It's downpouring now. The rain is coming down big time. Yeah, look at that. It's, it's coming down. It's only going to get worse. So I better get going before uh, things get a lot out of control here. I had to come back over because when I got my tools, I remember I had some of the tools out of my tool bag, so I had to come back to get those. And luckily... They're still here. But anyway, on the video that I uploaded, you guys were saying, hey, that looks like Omar's place. It looks like Omar's house. You know, the, the inside, all this. It's like, he's getting a house built. Isn't this like the inside of his house? Like all this here? Well, that's not the case. This is not his house. This is out here in South Georgia. 
Omar doesn't have woods like right behind his house. If you guys know, he's on a farm, so he's got a lot of land. And there's just all this back here. So this is definitely uh, not uh, Omar's house that's getting built. I just wanted to clear that confusion up because some of you guys are like, wait a minute, that's not Omar's. But no, no, no. But uh, yeah, there was something in this place. I don't know what it was, but something was definitely here. And I don't know if it was an animal that, you know, maybe ran up in the roof and there was a loose piece of wood and it fell. Or, you know me, paranormal, ghosts, maybe something attached to me or my belongings. Like I said, it could have been attached to my tools. I mean, I, I know it kind of sounds crazy for me to say that. I mean, who deals with that? But it's very possible. It's very, very possible. Who knows? But uh, I thought I would just let you guys know while I was over here, it's a little cooler today. I mean, it's, the weather's unpredictable. But uh, yeah, I had to do some electric work on the outside. They're having other electricians coming here to do some internal electrical work because there's a lot of stuff that has to get done on the inside here. And that's another thing, and Omar's place already has all the electrical work done on the inside. This just had some stuff done on the outside, but has a lot to do on the inside, but I'm jumping around because I have, uh, they put me on another location to do electrical work. But anyway, you guys are amazing and I, and I, and I love reading your comments. So feel free to comment on my videos and uh, I'll read them as best I can when I have the time. But I got to go as far as this part of the video. Yeah, it's a lot of wilderness out here. <laughs> I've been indecisive about having the house painted on the outside. But here are some things you got to keep in mind when it comes to paint color. Depends on the climate you're in. The color could affect your electric bill negatively. Depends on the color of the paint, if you live in the warmer climate or the colder climate, and how many months out of the year do you have warmer weather versus colder weather. So if you live in a southern climate and you have warmer days, most likely you're going to want to have lighter color exterior paint because it will reflect more light. And a darker color is going to absorb more light. So I'm going to go outside with my infrared thermometer and show you what I mean about paint colors and how it could affect your electric bill. All right, this is why paint color does have an effect on your electric bill. I'll show you why. Here's a lighter color and here's an infrared thermometer. And this is what it shows for the lighter color. And I go over to the darker color and look how it went up. Go over to the lighter color, it went down. Go over to the dark color and it goes up. That has an effect on your electric bill. I don't like it too hot, which is kind of ironic. You know, moving down here to South Georgia where it's a lot warmer this time of year than where I was living. So, uh, when it comes to paint color, I really got to think hard about the color I'm going to use. Because I wanted to get like a, you know, these browns, these earthy tones, these grays. But I got to go on a lighter shade. Because the house color now is a really light color. So it's reflecting a lot of light. So it's keeping it cooler, especially when the summer comes. So I got a lot to think about here. All of you are amazing. I just wanted to keep you up to speed on what's going on. And I thought I would just share that with you here on this channel. Be sure to check out my other channel, Rolling With Me, because I have been uploading new videos as often as I can, mostly uh, once a week. I'm gonna try to go for twice a week, maybe even more. And uh, I have been visiting one of my best friends down in Florida and uh, since I'm here in the south end of Georgia, it's not that far from here. So uh, check out those videos because you never know where I'll be and who I'll be hanging out with and what kind of experiences I'll be having, especially with what's been happening lately. But take care and be safe.